Emily Rudge, congratulations on being named England captain for the for the World Cup. How does that feel? Honestly, it's just such a such a proud moment, such a big honour. I think to to have the opportunity to lead out your country and obviously to do it on home soil is just going to be such an amazing experience and something that I'm, I'm really excited to do. And we're here at Headingley, uh, which is where you'll play your first game of the tournament against Brazil, and it's heading for uh, the biggest attendance uh, in a Northern Hemisphere women's rugby league match has ever seen. What, what do you make of that? It's so exciting, you know, I think this is a great stadium um, and a great stage for the first game. You know, we're lucky enough that we have had quite a few games here in the, in the past. So um, I'm going to really look forward to running out on this in this ground and hopefully it'll be, you know, like you say, packed out and, and full with fans and supporters that are getting behind us. Uh, and on a personal note, how, how have you performed at this place in the past? Um, personally, I think, yeah, I mean, we've actually, as a Saints player, we've, I don't think we've lost on this ground, maybe, well, last in the semis. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, we've had a lot of success on here and I can remember quite a few special moments that we've been part of. So hopefully we can, you know, uh, recreate some of those and, and make even more special uh, moments in the, in the next couple of weeks. And you're not the only player who's going to experience this challenge in 2022, but you, you, you peaked for the Challenge Cup then you had to try and peak again for the playoffs and now you'll have to try and peak again for the World Cup. How, how do you face that challenge and how do you overcome it? I think we're really lucky that we've got a lot of um, great backroom staff who sort of support us through that and, you know, plan out all our programmes and our training sessions, give us the rest when we need it, um, ramp up the intensity when that needs to happen as well. So, you know, I'm very much reliant on them and their guidance. Um, but, yeah, I think for us as players, we don't need any sort of motivation to get up for this game. I think um, just for the World Cup in general, you know, we're all so um, excited and looking forward to it. And I think just that in general um, will help us to get to that intensity and that and that level that we need to be at uh, and in common with the rest of you you know your, your teammates you're juggling a career you're juggling family uh, you know commitments how, how big a challenge is that as well to to juggle all that and get to a level of fitness that you're going to need to take into a tournament like this it's just really really hard to sort of like explain it to other people who don't experience it i think i'm so lucky that obviously there is so many other women who are going through the same thing and um, who you can sort of like you know bounce off each other about that sort of how they do it how you do it and um, the best way to work it but yeah you know it's, it's a massive challenge as as captain of your country do, do you look at, at captains you know national captains in other sports and and what their challenges are and what you might learn from from them yeah to, to some extent I think I do and obviously look at you know how they lead their teams but I think I'm, I'm really fortunate in this year and this team that we have got a lot of other experienced leaders and you know a lot of other captains in in the other players in the team so I think you know that takes a little bit of probably pressure off myself that there's a lot of um, experienced voices within the team and you know a lot of a lot of pe a lot of players that the younger girls can look up to you know the likes of Jodie Cunningham, Amy Hardcastle, Courtney and um, you know they're all really experienced vocal leaders and um, so I think you know that that's really great for the team and for myself I think it takes a little bit of the pressure off so um, yeah hopefully that'll I'll put us in good stead going into the World Cup games. Uh, and a final question about the World Cup without focusing too much on on any individual teams like Brazil and Australia and so on have, have you had a look at, at, at any of the, any, any of the teams that you'll, you'll be facing what do you know about any of or all of your opponents? Yeah, I think we know we know bits, and obviously that I think we we keep a, a, a close eye on a, or one eye on what's going on over um, the other side of the world and and where they're sort of up to. Um, but yeah, I think sort of for the last couple of months you're very much focused on yourself and your team and your performance, um, and that's probably not a focus. But then now, obviously, as the World Cup um, gears closer, then then yeah, that is something that we'll be looking at. And I'm sure the coaches will be showing us clips of of other teams' strengths and weaknesses that you know. We we want to expose and, and I think that that would be you know silly of them not to you know fully prepare us for for what we're coming up against so yeah I do expect to probably see more of it in the next couple of weeks and um, be fully prepared to, to come up against those teams. And you've got plenty of strengths of your own haven't you as, a, as, a, as an individual and as a, as a collective yeah. haven't you? 
Yeah, massively. And I think that's, you know, that gives me so much confidence going into this World Cup, looking around at the team that's been selected. You know, wow, so many, so many brilliant players in that team. And, you know, I think it's going to be so hard for Craig to, to pick a starting lineup, to be honest, because there's so much talent in that 24 uh, player squad. So, yeah, I think that's, you know, that's such a positive for us and, and probably not. Um, a position we've been in before in previous World Cups, you've probably been able to to name the the, the starting lineup straight away. Um, but I think with this squad, it's it's sort of still a little bit up in the air, and um, because there is just so much talent, so hopefully that that helps us going into the games and means that there's lots of competition um, for places.